Good morning, boys and girls. I hope everyone had a super awesome weekend. Let's have our circle time. Let's start by singing our hello song. And I thought we would do something a little bit different today, okay? So sing along and do the actions with me if you can. Hello, everybody. Let's clap our hands. Clap our hands. Clap our hands. Hello, everybody. Let's clap our hands. How are you today? Hello, everybody. Let's stomp our feet. Stomp our feet. Stomp our feet. Hello, everybody. Let's stomp our feet. How are you today? Good. All right. Let's talk about our circle time rules, our gimme five. Okay, and I have some pictures here. Our gimme five. Can you show me five fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, everyone looking, listening, quiet mouth, hands still, hands are quiet, and everyone sitting. All right. Okay, and we have a fun little finger play today. It's called Two Little Dicky Birds. Okay, I've been trying to practice, so hopefully it goes good. All right, so we get out our two fingers. One, two. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. Okay, here's the second part. Two little dicky birds sitting on a cloud. One named Quiet. One name loud, fly away quiet, fly away loud, come back quiet, come back loud, yay! Okay, calendar time, and today, well, the month is May, and the day of the week is Monday, and look, they both start with the same M sound, the letter M, M for May, M for Monday. And look here, if we pull, pull our finger all the way down here, we can see what number it is today. Does anybody know what number that is? Let's see, do you know what number? It's number 11. Wait, I want you to point to number 11. Okay, show me. Which one is number 11? You got it, number 11. And number 11 has two ones in it. Two of these, one and a one, and that's 11. All right, let's sing our Days of the Week song. And we'll clap our hands. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Clap two. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Clap your hands. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. All right, great job clapping your hands. So today is Monday, May the 11th. All right, now we are going to do some body movements. And I brought my fun Angel Bear yoga cards. So let's do a couple of these. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we'll do four different poses with these today. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is the peace pose. Okay, take a look at it. Okay, you're going to sit on the floor and you're going to put your leg on top of your other leg and try to have your feet pointing, your, the bottoms of your feet pointing up if you can. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, so sit down and put your leg, your, this leg on top of the other leg and try to have your foot facing up top, up to the roof. Okay, and then you're going to put your hands on your knees and sit. Okay? And we're going to we're going to try to be peaceful and relaxed. 
to try to have some peace, you can think of maybe holding a little baby, a little baby animal. You can think how peaceful that would feel if you were holding just a little itty bitty little baby. Yeah, that would feel really peaceful. Okay, let's do our next one. The next one we're going to do is time. Okay, so for this one, we need to put our back and our head on the floor and put your legs and your feet straight up. Okay, let's give it a try. So time, for time, sometimes we're so busy, we're running around trying to get things done, but sometimes it's okay to take our time and to do things slow. Okay, so my back and my head are on the floor and my legs are up. Okay, and then we're gonna think about how we can do things maybe in not such a rush. Great, let's do another one. Maybe this will be our last one. I really like this one. It's called words. So you need to stand up and put your arms straight up and your hands on top of one another. And it's about, sometimes we don't use nice words. So it's about using nice words. So you can tell mom and dad what you want by using your nice words, or you can calmly point to the things you want, or you can even take their hand and guide them over to the things that you want, right? Being nice and calm and showing them. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so everyone stand up. Put your arms up, and your hands on top of one another. Try to use our words, our calm words. Great, okay, maybe shake out a little bit. And we're going to read our book next. Okay, it's time for our story. Put your chair up so you can see the pictures. And if you want, you can take out your, your topic board, your pictures, so that you can point to the animals as we're reading about them, okay? And when, we, when I say, oh no, remember, it's really fun, you can do this. Oh no! Okay, you can try to do it with me. Oh no. Frog fell into a deep, deep hole. Ribbit, oops. Ribbit, oops. Frog fell into a deep, deep hole. Ribbit, oops. Frog fell into such a deep hole, he couldn't get out to save his soul, croaked Frog. Help, help, I can't get out. Oh, no. Okay, there's the hole. Mouse came along. But what could she do? Pippa eek, Pippa eek. Mouse came to help, but what could she do? Pippa eek. Mouse was so small, what could she do? She tried reaching down and she fell in too. Squeaked Mouse, we're trapped. We can't get out. Oh no. Loris reached down from her banyan tree. So slow, so slow. Loris inched down from her banyan tree. So slow. Loris inched down from that high up tree. Then her allergy to cats made her Achoo! sneeze. Sniffled Loris, bless me, we can't get out. Oh no. Sun Bear lowered a whopping big branch. Grab on, grab on. Sun Bear lowered a whopping big branch. Grab on. Sun Bear lowered that big, big branch. But with the weight of all those critters, it teetered 
tottered, crashed, oh no, grumbled Sun Bear. Bad luck, we can't get out. Oh no. Monkey swung by on his kudzoo vine. Wee ha, wee ha. Monkey swung by on his kudzoo vine. Wee ha. He was having such fun on his kudzoo vine, he didn't see that tree in time, groaned Monkey. Ouch, ow, we can't get out. Oh no. Now Tiger slunk over and licked his teeth. Slop slurp, slop slurp. Tiger slunk over and licked his teeth. Slop slurp. Tiger narrowed his eyes and licked his teeth. He smiled at the sight of his tasty feast, drawled Tiger. I'm here to help you. Oh no. He looks scared and he doesn't look like he's here to help. Then the ground bumble rumbled and began to shake. Ba-boom, ba-boom, the ground bumble rumbled and began to quake. Ba-boom, the ground bumble rumbled and quake, shake, quaked. And look who came out to help them escape. Whoopee! The elephant, hooray, hooray! Oh no! Tiger fell into the deep, deep hole. Growl, growl. Tiger fell into the deep, deep hole. Growl. Tiger fell into such a deep hole, he couldn't jump out to save his soul. Whale Tiger, please, please, won't you help me out? Oh no, oh no. The end. All right. We have a song to sing and then an activity to do. All right. So for this song, I need everyone to stand up. Okay, and it's called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Now, I do have a teddy bear. Let's take him out. Here, here's my teddy bear, okay? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Should we try it one more time? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoes shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. All right, great job. Okay, last for our activity today, we're going to talk about big and small, okay? So I brought a big piece of paper so we could sort some things, big one, and a small one. Can you point to which one is big? Which one's big? Big, and now point to which one is small. Small. Okay, so what I need you to do is to go find some toys in your house. And if you have animals, that would be great. And if you don't, it could be any kinds of things. Things that you play with. It could even be crayons or blocks or balls, whatever you have for toys, okay? So for me, I chose some animals because I love animals and I have lots of them. Okay, so we already saw this bear and we need to see, is he big or is he small? Big, he's a big bear. Okay, and now this one, big or small? Small, you can go on the small paper. Okay, now I have Two monkeys, okay? I have a big one and a small one. Here's the small one and the big one. Okay, so what other ones I have in here? Oh, do you know what animal this is? It's a 
turtle. What color? Pink? No. Red? No. Green. A green turtle. And this one's the big one. And here's a small turtle. Okay, so I'm sorting them. The big ones go on the big paper. The small ones go on the small paper. Okay, I have one more. I have a big lion. Big, so I'll put it with the big animals and a small lion. I'll put that with the small animals. All right, that was fun. We're all done for today. Bye.